All right, you guys, it's your boy Janker here, uh, bringing it back with another Rachel Zegler Snow White type video. Uh, it says, Rachel Zegler is fierce after watching Brett, Coop Brett Cooper's Snow White trailer. Uh, in case you all didn't know, Brett Cooper is doing uh, her own Snow White, you know, movie off to the side. Um, I don't know what, what type, I forgot the type of studio it was, but um, it's, it's not Disney. <laughs> and they, and they kind of like, okay, we're going to capitalize on all this uh, Snow White controversy and we're going to do our own thing and we're going to show you how to do this thing. So, and then Rachel Ziegler is just pissed off with the whole thing because, I mean, she did she did it to herself with all the stuff that she's talking about, talking about she didn't really like the original story and that the, the story that, that, that Disney is going to be working on is, isn't going to have a love story and it's going to take a lot of things out of the original. Yeah, I could go down a long path of that of, of everything that she talked about that was kind of like ugh. and yeah but without further ado let's check this video out because i know this is what you all came here for and y'all want to see my reaction to what they got going on and um my challenge to you all is let's get 20 likes on this video and let's get 500 views on this video i really appreciate it uh, as we get closer and closer to 30,000 subscribers um so without further ado let's check this thing out make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and share with your friends Let's do this thing. At least Brett Cooper looks like Snow White in this promo, whereas you can't really say the same thing about Rachel Zegler. <laughs> it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. We are attempting something huge. We're going up against yeah, Disney. Cooper we have right our there. critics, but we have passion and we have a mission in mind that is bigger than just this movie. Eight and a half decades after Walt Disney enchanted us with his first animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, it's rather surprising that a tale as old as time can still spark intense debate. Yeah. However, because of Disney's actions, fans are absolutely furious and now it's been announced that a new Snow White might be giving Disney competition and fans are all Snow White it. and the Evil Queen. In recent years, Disney's live action adaptations have sparked both excitement and controversy. Exactly. Some fans love the opportunity to see their beloved characters like Belle, Simba, yeah, and like, Princess. Yeah, like they killed it with Beauty and the Beast. They killed it with Aladdin. I mean, Aladdin has some controversies, but Aladdin still did decent. I'm still waiting on if they're going to do a second one. Lion King live action? Yeah. We're going to say that for another day. <laughs> Jasmine in a fresh new light on the big screen. Others, however, have started to realize Disney is not doing any of the adaptations right, and it's only getting worse. We saw it with Aladdin and The Little Mermaid, but things have gotten infinitely more worse when it comes to Snow White because of the major changes Disney is making to such a beloved and classic story. It all started with the casting of Latina actress Rachel Zegler as the iconic Disney princess. Yeah. This casting decision set off a wave of criticism and concern True. among fans. However, Disney True. just kept adding fuel to the fire as they announced that the beloved dwarf characters would be removed and replaced by magical I mean, creatures. I saw something, I saw something, I read something, they were like, the name Snow White has the word white in, has the word white in the name. And they're like, what if we made Black Panther not black? <laughs> like Black Panther. I mean, I, I I know what they mean though. So like, it, it's it's crazy. Like you got Snow White, and they like you know white white is in the name, and you got Black Panther, and then Black is in the name. So like, so you know, I just read some uh, article about that. So they 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 uh they 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 got some good opinions in it. This became a major debate and Disney was met with significant backlash. However, yeah. it's looking like things have been changing behind the scenes as a newly released photo suggests that the dwarfs might make a return. However, it's still mm. not looking too good as fans CGI really dwarfs. aren't happy with the, the look of those dwarfs take, huh? and the issue of a know. completely different storyline is still very much being discussed. Rachel Zegler's comments about the film are again being discussed mm. and are drawing significant attention. Rachel saying it's not 1937 anymore in an interview where she discussed how the movie would shift away from the original Snow White storyline centered around searching for true love is being criticized once again. 
Fans aren't happy with how this new interpretation under her and director Mark Webb appears yeah. to challenge traditional romantic themes and the power of friendship. The criticism is especially harsh. I so mean, Beauty and the Beast still had the romance part in it. So, like, why why would they, like, change it? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are looking forward to it, so... Since Rachel is making the original story sound like something it is not by trying to make the prince out as being a stalker. The original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> there is a big focus on her love story with the guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> These comments, along with Disney's decision to tweak the beloved animated classic, have stirred controversy among fans, earning the film the label of being Woke. The intense backlash has left the movie in an unstable position, as many fans are actually threatening to boycott the release. This looks to be exactly why Disney has now decided to postpone the film from its initial 2024 release date to 2025. However, yeah, not everyone reshoots, has chosen huh? to stand by and witness the destruction of Snow White. In fact, a whole other Snow White movie is currently in production and is set to release in 2024 yeah. instead of Disney's adaptation. In response to Disney's approach to their live action Snow White, The <laughs> Daily Wire, a conservative news outlet has stepped into the scene with its own version of the classic tale. They're releasing this film through their new streaming service, Bend Key, designed especially for children. Jeremy Boring, co-CEO of The Daily Wire, made a strong statement where he pointed out that Snow White is what built Disney's empire, yeah. and the company is, in his view, disappointing its loyal fan base with the direction it has taken in the live-action adaptation. The Daily Wire's Snow White adaptation will be named Snow White and the Evil Queen and will come out in 2024. Mm -hmm. The movie will most importantly stay true to the original Brothers Grimm fairy tale, which so like even is Really even those little shots very... right there look promising. Even though it is low budget, the fact that they're still sticking through with some of the original storylines and stuff, fans will still come and find a way to check out the to check it out and show some support. You know what I'm saying? That right there. You know, it looks promising. Very promising. So appealing for lifelong fans. This faithfulness to the source material is especially great news for fans who have expressed their disappointment with Disney's live action. Since The Daily Wire is putting focus back on the traditional values that Disney is erasing, their vision for the film is clear. It's about friendship, magic, inner beauty, and romance. Yeah, These timeless right values are the heart of the story, and The that, Daily that, Wire yeah. believes they are as relevant today as they ever were. In contrast to Rachel Zegler's opinion that such values are outdated, they aim to celebrate and show off their importance, even in modern society. Actress Brett Cooper is set to play the new Snow White in the movie, and her involvement has generated significant buzz. Fans have completely embraced her with open arms. Since her commitment to preserving the timeless values of the original fairy tale speaks to audiences who are disappointed by Disney's direction. But Brett is not just an actress. She's also a well-known YouTube personality and a member of the Daily Wire family, which includes notable figures like Ben Shapiro, Jeremy Boring, and Candace Owens. While she started her career as an extra in the Hollywood movie, Parental Guidance, Cooper eventually chose a different path. She yeah. became a prominent presence on YouTube, hosting the comments section with Brett Cooper, a channel hmm. with over 3.6 million subscribers. Here she offers the commentary on section. political, <laughs> cultural, and societal affairs, while actively engaging with her huge audience. In yeah. addition to her online presence, Brett has appeared in movies like Bobby and M. Gill and 500 Fireflies, mm. and from the small teaser released by the company, she can even sing wonderfully. With Brett Cooper wow. leading the way and a commitment to honoring the timeless values of the original Snow White story, the Daily Wire's Snow White and the Evil Queen presents an alternative that those resonates with fans who are looking for a... bright red apples right there. They must have increased the contracts on, on those apples or painted them apples red. They look bright as hell. <laughs> ...faithful adaptation in stark contrast to Disney's approach. 
Brett even recently shared an exciting video where she reacted to the trailer and officially yeah. embraced her role while commenting on some of the things that fans have been wondering about ever since they heard of yet another Snow White movie. Yeah. In the video, Brett responded to a TikTok video. And I like Bella how, Beach you know, they, she got the long black, you know, the long hair. Like, they don't, you don't need to have Snow White with the same type of hairstyle, the low cut. You can mix it up and, and, and I, I, I wonder if they did that for copyright reasons, but still, uh, it still looks recognizable. Um, and it looks way better than what <laughs> Rachel Ziegler had. <laughs> YouTuber Ryan Cannell, who pointed out that people are seeking propaganda-free entertainment and emphasized the importance of this. Brett yeah. wholeheartedly agreed, saying, Not expecting this announcement. At least Brett Cooper looks like Snow White in this promo, whereas you can't really say the same thing about Rachel yeah. Segler. You know, it'd be one thing if Snow White turned around and put a MAGA hat on or some bullshit. That's not, <laughs> people don't want propaganda on the other side. They just want propaganda-free entertainment. It's Hollywood, baby. And that really is the main point. We're not trying to turn Snow White into something that it's not. We're not trying to turn Snow White into a MAGA conservative movie. We're just trying to represent the values that Snow White is based in. As she yeah. continued, Cooper also stick in, reacted... Stick into the source material. That's what a lot of fans want people to do. They do it for Marvel. They, they say it for Disney. They say it for DC. Comic books. Resident Evil. A whole bunch of franchises. They like stick to the source material that's what fans want as soon as you start deviating and changing this and changing that and things things starting to look unrecognizable and that's when people are taken out of the movie taken out of the tv series taken out of whatever it is that's that they're watching so that's that's one thing you want to i understand some people they want to change this and change that and change this and change that but when you change too much or if you make a big change, especially like a change in a character, yeah, a lot of times it's going to be dead on arrival, <laughs> to be honest, though. So, yeah. To another TikTok user's response video about how Snow White and the Evil Queen was not trying to cater to woke audiences either, which is yeah. something Brett wholeheartedly agreed on. Yes, you're right. We don't give a crap about being woke. But more importantly, our creative team actually gives a crap about the source material. They want exactly. to tell the original story. With that right there, that that right there is a win for me. If the writers and directors and the actors are on, poor, are on par with the source material and they all stick to the same vision, you're destined to have a, a pretty good to great product. <laughs> With the values and the themes that made the Grimm's Brothers fairy tale so famous and important to begin with. Brett also made sure to emphasize the very important values that will be at the heart of Snow White and the Evil Queen. Yeah. Values like love and kindness and friendship and inner beauty versus vanity and romance, for Pete's sake, because apparently that's missing in 2023. Weird. Weird. No! She also made sure to bring up a very important comment that talks about her appearance in the video. It's clear that Snow White's hair is pretty long in the movie while Disney's original cartoon had Snow White in a short bob. Brett made sure to clarify that for the original Grimm story, every illustration shows Snow White with long hair, which is historically more accurate for the time period. Staying true to these historical details is part of the commitment to the original tale. This is also because while Disney owns the original cartoon, they don't own the original story, and the new movie is a depiction of the- Oh yeah, that is true. That is true. Disney only owns the animation movie or whatever. They don't own the original story. That's why... Because this isn't the first time that Snow White has been made into a movie. They have, like, different variations. I think even, like... I think they even have a Japanese version or, or they have, like, a different American version that made their own twist on it or whatever. Or it was, like, Snow White and the Hunchman or something. Like, there's been Snow White-type video uh, movies. I don't know if Disney made one, but... There's other companies that that can or have made a Snow White type movie, so yeah, that made that does make sense. Brothers Grimm fairy tale and not the Disney movie. The most important thing about this movie is the timeless values that make the fairy tale so loved by yeah. so many people. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Brett made it clear. That same thing for Mulan. Same thing for Pocahontas. Like other companies can make their version of that. 
the new Snow White adaptation is not about political agendas. And the approach has resonated with audiences who are excited about the prospect of a film that preserves the heart of the classic story yeah. without trying to diversify every twist and turn. This is especially important since Disney also seems to have forgotten the fact that the whole movie was an incredibly big risk back in the day. The Daily Wire co-founder, Jeremy Boring, talked about how Disney is actually being incredibly disrespectful to Walt Disney's vision and oh, hard yeah. work by trying to erase the yeah. original story that made the studio into what it is today. Yep. Everything to build his dream. One of his greatest risks and greatest achievements was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Critics at the time called it Disney's folly. They were certain it would be a flop. It was 400% over budget and it would have bankrupted the entire company if it didn't succeed. But it did succeed. It went on to become one of the top grossing films of all time. Everything you see today from Disney was made possible by Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Mm, so there's no big. better example of Disney's disregard for their own heritage, or their disregard for their own audience, than their current remake of their own classic film. Wow. What Walt said about Snow White, quote, to me, I thought it was the perfect story. I had the sympathetic dwarves. I had the prince and the girl, the romance. I just thought it was a perfect story. Unfortunately, the company Disney founded doesn't agree with their founder and vision. The Daily Wire and Brett wow. Cooper are already turning out to be a much better and more heartfelt combination it is, than Disney definitely. and Rachel Zegler. And things might just end up horribly wrong if Disney keeps going down this path of self-destruction. What do you guys think of a new Snow White movie? Let me know down below and don't forget to check out this other video. Man, don't nobody care about Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, man, anybody wanna watch that, man? <laughs> but yeah some good some good key points uh in this video right here so y'all let me know down in the comments what kind of what kind of snow white video y'all want us to go see and are y'all looking forward to the brett cooper snow white video are y'all looking to forward to the rachel zegler for snow white video i'm not looking forward to that one i'm, I'm more interested in what brett cooper has in her snow white video uh and i think i'm gonna go check out her video of her uh reacting to the trailer i think i missed that video um but the fact that Brett Cooper and her and the people that she's working with, they are they are all sticking to the source material. That makes it promising right there. The, the fact that you hear that, that lets me know that they want to give the fans what what they what they need and want, and then they stick into the source material to help give them that. They're not just pulling stuff out the butt out their out their butt and and switching up everything just for the sake of it. They are. They have a, a extreme path, an extreme goal. Even listening to the uh, what is it, the, the co-founder of uh, Daily Wire, him talking about Walt Disney's vision and how Walt Disney used Snow White to, uh, you know, it was a it was a risky move, but it it ended up benefiting for Disney as a whole, and we were able to have everything after Snow White because of the, of the success for Snow White. That's that right there. That's that hit me right there when he said that. That hit me right there. That hit me right there. So, that you want Snow White to be uh, a good movie by sticking to the source material, having things that are recognizable, and just having fun with it, with this whole thing. So, man, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, so, this comes out 20, 20, uh, the Brett Cooper one comes out in 2024, and then the Rachel Zegler one got pushed to 2025. Maybe they're doing reshoots. Maybe they're taking Rachel Zegler out of it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we just going to wait and see. But... Let's just, let's just hope for the best. All right, y'all. If y'all like my reaction to this, post your comments down below. Like and share with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more reaction videos. Make sure y'all give the video a thumbs up. Janka, hold down for 100,000 subscribers. And Janka is out. I will be giving away $200 Amazon gift cards when this channel reaches 30,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is just drop a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any uploads. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the $200 Amazon gift card and include your Twitter handle. The winner will be announced once the channel reaches 30,000 subscribers.